My name is Matthew Kaufman. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon at the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction. So diaphragm paralysis is a condition that affects the breathing muscles, the primary breathing muscle of inspiration. And the injury is typically to the phrenic nerve, which is the power supply or the impulse supply to that muscle. And so we've developed a procedure called phrenic nerve reconstruction which ultimately reverses diaphragm paralysis and reverses the symptoms associated with diaphragm paralysis, allowing the patient to breathe more normally again. The diagnosis of diaphragm paralysis isn't always so easy to make. Physicians don't usually think of this as the first uh, diagnosis when someone presents with shortness of breath. Ultimately, the diagnosis is made on an x-ray, a special type of x-ray called the sniff test, which is basically an x-ray performed in a video type fashion with the patient breathing in and out that shows that the side that's injured is not moving comparative to the other side, which may be normal and moving up and down with each breath. So phrenic nerve reconstruction is a procedure that, uh, as I said, we've developed over the last 15 years. It is a procedure that's uh, approximately three hours long under general anesthesia anesthesia and typically involves one night in the hospital. Generally the pain after surgery is, is minimal. So I would I usually describe it as about a three out of ten and after their one night hospital stay uh, we like to have them in the area for about four or five days. But after that, if everything is looking good, they can actually fly or drive home. And most patients can get back to a desk job in about two weeks. Unfortunately, not everybody is a candidate for phrenic nerve reconstruction, but we will be happy to determine if you are or if you're not. And if you're not a candidate for phrenic nerve reconstruction, there still may be other things we can do to help. There may be other surgical treatments or other non-surgical things. So the greatest benefit that we've seen in terms of the outcomes for the 600 plus patients that we've operated on is that we can truly restore their respiratory function over a year or two. And ultimately it's, it's after being told that they're going to have to live with this problem for the rest of their life, which is quite dramatic and upsetting and uh, changes their whole outlook on the rest of their life. And, and we can get them back to a normal or near normal state um, and it's, it's life changing and, and we have many patients in the office after surgery or at some point in their recovery that are crying with joy because of the impact that the surgery's had on their life and it's, it's tremendously rewarding to see that.